Hey, hello, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another favorites video and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jordan. Welcome, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to click that subscribe button and maybe the little bell to make sure you never miss, miss to make sure you never miss a video with me. I love doing these monthly favorites videos to kind of show you guys what my go-to's have been the past month and some new things that I'm trying or things that I've just continued to really keep in my routine that I um, cannot get enough of. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this first because I don't want it to melt. Halo Top. All right, so Halo Top is nothing new to my favorites of the world, really, but this flavor, Candy Bar, I just find myself like really reaching for it lately, so I just thought it was definitely worth a mention. There's a few websites you can order from. I've never done the whole ordering ice cream thing online before, but um, I tend to just get mine from Fry's or Walmart or sometimes Target, I think. It's definitely not my first month ever having Halo Top, but or my first month ever having this flavor. For some reason, every time I go to the store, this is the one I pick up. So I definitely thought it was worth a mention. Um, I'm gonna go put this in the freezer because it's already getting soft. I'll be right back. I find myself having like too many, in my opinion, too many like beauty products in this month, but just can't really help it. I did narrow it down to four things. Okay, so I won't be surprised if some of these do change like maybe for next month because I did just order a lot of things from Ulta and I'm getting ready to do a large a very large in my opinion Ulta haul for you guys and kind of like a makeup try on type thing but for this month the things I've been using that I really really love that I've never really put much thought into previously because I'm not a really big makeup person this is like a makeup setting spray it's not called that it's called revive hydration mist and it's by glow minerals mm -hmm. I've been doing it even if I just put on like a tinted moisturizer or something I sprayed on or if I have a little bit more makeup on like I did today, I did a little bit of makeup for you guys. Ah, the highlight though. And it's like minty, so it's really refreshing, but mm, mm, mm. Continuing in the beauty department is this jojoba oil. So this I just got from Sally's actually. It's The brand is Silk Elements. And it's just pure jojoba oil. It comes in this little blue bottle with a dropper. And I literally just like drop a few onto my fingertips and put it all over my face um, as a moisturizer. Typically just at nighttime, but I did put it on this morning before putting on my makeup. Not just in the hydration and like the softness of my skin, but also in the tone. Like the... I don't know, maybe it is tone. I don't know the right word, but like... Just the overall like appearance of my skin when it's completely naked, I just really noticed a difference in just a couple of weeks and I'm really, really, really digging it. It's only a one ounce bottle, but it seriously lasts you forever. Like if you can see, I don't know if you can see like how little I've used, that's in a couple of weeks and on, so I see this little tiny bottle lasting a good amount of time. It even has like the really attractive fry sticker on it. So the, from what I can see, cause there's a sticker, I wish I had the box because I just not really sure like again no beauty guru here all it says is argon oil and it's like this gold shimmery really gorgeous and what it said to do you can do this I've only done it the one way but it said like you can do it without foundation too it also comes in this little dropper you just drop like the littlest bit onto like to mix in with your foundation. I put it on my little beauty blender sponge with my foundation and just put it on like that and it's absolutely stunning. And it just makes your skin so soft, it's amazing. All right, so last thing as far as beauty products go, and I'm actually wearing it right now. On my lips. Let's start out by saying this. Normally I'm just die hard lip sense girl all the way. Again, if I'm wearing makeup, like. I want it to be as low maintenance as possible. I don't have to worry about it getting on my teeth. I don't want it to get on my fingers. I don't want it to mess up when I'm eating or drinking. Probably like seven months or so, I've been only using lip scents and not even like bothering with anything else that I have. Anyways, I saw this at the store. I don't even know if you can like tell just how pretty this color is, but I saw it and it's e.l.f. So really, really, really affordable. The applicator is kind of interesting. But I'll just put a little bit more on. 
just so you guys can see this. It's a liquid matte lipstick and like it is truly matte. I hate it when something wants to be matte and it just has that shimmer or that shine. I, I don't like shiny really much of anything besides, again, this highlight. I don't even know why I'm not mentioning this highlighter. Maybe I'll go grab that. So this color, sorry, is called Tea Rose by e.l.f. So you can find it at a drugstore, a Target, whatever. And I love it, especially for the price. I'll grab that highlighter. Okay, so the highlighter that I'm wearing has actually been like in my makeup collection for a long time. I just have to keep showing it. I never used to understand the obsession with highlight until I started using this stuff. It's probably expired. But it's from MAC and it looks gorgeous, so whatever. Ooh. Um, and it is called Honor, Honor Frost. So, I want to say it's like $22. I had to look it up the other day because somebody was asking about it. Yeah, super, it's just so pretty. So, I just wanted to talk about one book. This is a new one, I just got it a couple weeks ago. I haven't quite finished it yet because I'm really, really bad about picking one book or one podcast or one audiobook or whatever and like only reading that like I want a taste of everything constantly so I haven't finished it yet but it's definitely worth mentioning it's by Peta Kelly pretty freaking awesome like especially if you're in my generation like you're really going to relate and it's just really gonna wake you up like highly recommend that's all I really want to say about it but definitely definitely recommend this book I got it on Amazon maybe 20 and 22 bucks but I'll have all the links for everything below can't really not mention this these guys but these are this is the ombre seamless collection from Gymshark these are just a couple of the tops and then the pants that are inside out but these released a few weeks ago and sold out very quickly, but I do know they're coming out with more colorways. Not sure about a restock in these specific ones, but I have heard rumors about new colorways. So definitely looking forward to those. As I've talked about before in previous videos, I absolutely love, love, love the Gymshark Seamless Collection in general. These ones in particular, like they're just really, look at, these are the, um, some contours on the butt that just are very very flattering these ones in particular are some of the softest ones that there are they're they're, they're incredible so 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 comfortable high-waisted everything that your girl could really ask for and the color of course is just to die for and then just like I definitely have talked about these before but this like I love crop tops I love long sleeve and these oh, so cute like these sold out in like 0.2 hot seconds so really really looking forward to more um, colorways coming out in these but yeah just absolutely love like the contrast a lot of people didn't like the contrast of the um, stitching but I actually really like it and it's just all the contouring details are just very 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 flattering and this is the high neck tank top which is something that they haven't had before but just a new addition to the seamless collection that I really really like Last, but certainly, certainly not least, um, I wanted to talk about yoga. So I just brought a yoga mat as a little prop, but this isn't even the yoga mat that I use every day. And once I got back from my last trip to Disneyland in January, I was talking with my family, my aunt, my cousin, my sister, my mom, about different types of like fitness classes. So something other than weightlifting that I really enjoy is yoga. So we got back from Disney, me, my mom, my aunt, and my cousin all went and did like a two-week trial membership for 20 bucks at Vibetality is what's called. I'll tag them below um, their Instagram stuff if you're in the area and you want to check them out. It is a yoga studio unlike any yoga studio I or you have ever been to. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think they're the only studio in the country, definitely in the state, but I think in the country too with um, whole body vibration plates. The majority of their classes are 15 minutes. The 15 minutes and you will get your booty kicked, I'll tell you. It's like square vibration plates, kind of like power plates that you might see at a gym on the floor. You roll out your yoga mat on top of it and then you do, like there's an instructor, they'll walk you through the whole course and they'll 
it's like I said 15 minutes sometimes a couple of them are 20 some of them are 40 and then there are regular hour-long yoga classes as well but I could go on and on about the place I love it really 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 helpful because I grew up dancing I grew up being very used to being very flexible and never having to worry much to put extra effort into stretching or things because that's just went along with dancing and everything but since starting weightlifting and bodybuilding i'm a little bit lazier when it comes to warming up or cooling down and especially when it comes to stretching because you're just like you're either really high energy and you want to just go 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 or when you're done you're done and you just want to go home so i can admit i'm not the best when it comes to that and this has really helped my boat my mobility recovery flexibility all of those things like incredibly so i feel really good i feel really mobile and really just flexible I don't there's another word that I can't think of but um, I just feel like it's really helped me become like a well-rounded more of a well-rounded athlete or just body conscious I don't know I don't know how to explain it I could say so many wonderful things about the place about that people but anyways so definitely worth mentioning if you're in the area check it out you will not regret it if you're not in the area and you're thinking about doing yoga go do yoga but anyways, that I think is everything I have for you guys this month. If these are helpful at all, just go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscri subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.